Shishi Vilapa Kushmandali, verse 77. Will the joy of my eyes increase when I see one maiden swiftly and happily bring various blooming flowers? Big kunja beads, gunja beads, and peacock feathers. While Mohan makes the braid of my Swamini, with this he shivers, and her whole body blooms up with goose pimples. Notes In a transcendental vision, Sri Raghunath perceives how sweetly Mohan is dressing Swamini, and when he loses this vision, he prays. Now again he sees how Swamini's hair is being done. When will your braided hair give my eyes great ecstasy? This braid is being beautified by Hari with different flowers, gunja beads, peacock feathers and other items. Your body will be studded with goose pimples. Gänsehaut. How delighted my eyes will be when your hair becomes so beautiful. It is unusual to make a girl's braid with peacock feathers. Rata and Krishna have been in Pranay before Tulasi spoke this verse. Now Radhika wears a yellow cloth and Krishna a blue one. They have exchanged dresses, unable to distinguish between each other anymore. As a result of reaching a climax of loving ecstasy, Swamini now has the peacock feather crown on and Krishna has the braided hair and a jewel in his part. The cause of this confusion is their absorption in their Madhurya pastimes. In the Rasa Shastra, the scriptures that deal with spiritual flavors, this is called Prema. Vilas Vivarta, and it has two characteristics, Contrariety and Confusion, Gegensätzlichkeit und Verwirrung. Shijiva Goswami writes in his Gopala Champu, When Shirata is with Sri Krishna, she is also separated from him. And when she is separated from him, she is also together with him. In the same way, she experiences all conditions to be contrary. At home, she feels like being in the forest. And in the forest, she feels like being at home. She feels a moment lasts like a millennium and a millennium lasts like a moment. She feels happy in sorrow and sad in happiness. She feels awake when she is sleeping and she feels like she is sleeping when she is awake. She feels cold when it is hot, and she feels hot when it is cold. Hmm. 
Not only that, but the most wonderful thing is that she also feels like she is Krishna. And Krishna feels like he is her. This means that they exchange nature and thus they may be found wearing each other dresses and ornaments. Madana Rasa is the assemblage of the entire variety of all transcendental conjugal ecstasies and they are all eternally present in Sri Radha. Shihari is the cause of this exchange of clothes in the lila. He managed to steal the mind of Madanakya Mahabhavavati Shirata. Swamini does not hesitate when Shyama Sundara acts in such an enchanting way. Shyama Sundara Mohan is completely sold to Swamini's lotus feet. Swamini feels that she possesses him in the mood of Madhyata. He is mine. And even Shyama Sundara cannot end that feeling. Falling at her feet, he begs her, Give me one festival-like embrace. How eager Radha's Mohan is falling at her feet as if he is missing something. Swamini stretches out her hand, lifts him up and holds him to her chest, saying, Is there anything that I cannot give to you? Krishna is expert in stealing Radhika's heart, therefore he is known as Hari. This love is mutual, means they are both feeling like this. Otherwise, it is not beautiful. Shripad Prabodhananda Saraswati has written in Radha Rasa Sudaniti. There is one enchanting blue and yellow pair, immersed in the flavor of each other's maduya, showing innumerable enchanting forms and pastimes in a bower house in Rindavan. Swamini is not satisfied in their pastime and she thinks Shyam does not smile enough. His smile is not fully blooming. So she causes a smile to blossom his face by kissing him again. Now she can relish and enrich the nectar of his mouth that makes his flute song so sweet and that reveals such wonderful jokes. Swamini's desires cannot be satisfied any more. Hari has taken away all her hesitation. The Acharyas say that a higher level of Prem is called Pranai. In this stage, the loving couple is no longer aware that they are separate beings. The very life force of this Pranai is Vishramba. Shilajiva Goswami writes, Vishramba means that the lover feels him or herself to be non-different from the beloved. And Srila Vishwana Chakravati explains this further. Vishramba means faith or freedom from awe and reverence, so that one considers the life, the mind, intelligence and dress of the beloved to be one's 
one with one's own. It is the stage of intimacy in which one feels no hesitation when the hand of the beloved goes over one's body. It is the same feeling of trust and intimacy as if one would move one's own hand on one's body. In the same way, Pranayini Radha considers each of Shyama's limbs that she touches to be her own. And this Hari is the cause of all of this. Swamini's curly braid resembles a big dark cloud and Hari sits behind her, slowly arranging that hair. Each hair is dearer to him than millions of lives. He pours his whole life airs into them. There is no limit to his ecstasy when he obtains the service of his beloved and his shivering hands are studded with goose pimples while he braids her hair. Swamini's body is also studded with goose pimples when Hari touches her. Sham looks at Priyachi's face from behind, over her shoulders, afraid that she may feel pain. But Swamini consoles him with a blossoming smile and says, Why are you so worried? It didn't hurt. When Mohan is hearing this, he smiles. After he has made Radhika's braid, one mandri comes with peacock feathers, slightly blooming flowers on gunja beads. These are shining red beads with black spots on them. And Sham uses them to make Swamini's crown. Also, in Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a description of this Prema Vilasa Vivarta. Sri Shukamuni said in 10.30.34, Krishna made a crown like for himself, for his beloved Sri Radhika. Seeing Krishna's expertise in decorating Radhika, Tulsi is beside herself of ecstasy. It is as if ecstasy himself appears before her eyes instead of in her mind. It is as if this ecstasy is not enjoyed within the mind, but within the eyes. The aspiring devotee who is fixed in Smaran must dive into this rasa also. The yearning for Sri Radharani service, devotional service, does not awaken within an ordinary heart. It will awaken within the heart of someone who can give up everything in the world and who is not dependent on anything. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells Arjuna, Bhakti ma me priyo nara, a person who is devoted, is dear to me. But to attain Radha's service is even higher. Without total absorption, it cannot be attained. The Acharyas have revealed how one can become dear to Radharani. Sri Raghunath Swami is crying, exclaiming, Tavai vasmi, Tavai vasmi, Najiva me, Tvayamina, I am yours. I am yours. I cannot live without you. We must experience some of this absorption also. We must expel the influence of Maya from the mind. The great words 
the Mahavani of the Acharyas will strengthen the weak devotees and will gradually bring them back on the path. Tulsi is absorbed in bliss when she sees Swamini's hair being done by Moha. Suddenly, the vision is going and Srila Raghunathas prays. Some sake with blossoming heart and her body overwhelmed with goose pimples of ecstatic love places half-blooming flowers, fresh gundra garlands and enchanting peacock feathers into Mohan's hands without delay. And Brajendra Nandana carefully takes them and ornaments Sri Radha's hair with them. His hands start shivering when he experiences the blissful touch of his beloved and this again causes Sri Radha's heart to blossom. Alas, how many more days will pass before my eyes will be absorbed in ecstasy by seeing Swamini's hair being braided in this astonishing way. Jai Jai Shri Radhe 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 Govind